So in this video, we're going to be working with an AM4 processor, but this could be really any processor that has pins to it. This is a AM4 socket and middle of the road, couple years old. Um, I think I got this on eBay for 20 bucks, but uh, you can kind of look at all of the bent pins kind of see that maybe you can see the different way it shines and that kind of gives you an idea all the bent pins a bunch of there but anyway we're going to show you how to fix that super easy and save a bunch of money okay so back in the day i used to use dental tools to fix this sort of thing going in here like these are all the bent pins right so I used to just try to bend them with the tips of this, but that became a problem because sometimes it'll give way and you can just bend it the hell over like that, make it look like that. So I found the easier way to go, believe it or not, is this. Not a regular blade like that, but you want to use one with a, angled tip like that uh, I'll show you why okay so sorry for the quality of this it's I'll get used to this anyhow you can take your thing here go down each one of these rows and that's where the tip being pointed comes in handy you just kind of work your way real gently and rock it back and forth like this and that will allow you to not overextend any of these but you have to be patient especially when there's a lot of bent pins as you can see on this one so pretty soon you're cruising down the whole way like this right and then when you get to one that's bent you just kind of work your way past it it has a way just like that of getting past it then you go on the next one and so forth like that that one had a lot but if you can see you can go through these kind of quick as it goes like there's one right there real bad one but if you work your way through there usually you can kind of get it if it's too far over you can always use something like this to kind of prop it back up let's see here Some of these can be a bit tip tricky. There we go. So they're a bit tricky sometimes. So anyway, just go through there like that on all the rows. I'm going to go through all of these rows and come right back. Make it easy to watch. When you get past the really bad pins, there's something that you can do that kind of makes all of them line up in case you miss any. But if you take your blade, push it through the whole row, and then just kind of just kind of rock it back and forth like that, it will make sure that they're all in line, which is helpful. And you just keep going row by row. you get to the top okay so once you get to the very top of the chip you will have all of the chips pointing at least sideways but none of them up and down okay so you fixed them all so none are going to be pointing down or up but some will be now pointing the other direction so what you do is 
turn it 90 degrees see all of these were every which direction but now they're only pointing left or right so you can start on this one just move them in there like that just to work your way through just like that and just move it back and forth and eventually you get these close enough to where they're usable we'll try back in just a second Here's a really good example right here, well, right here, of the way it fixes super easy with this razor blade. So before, this chip was pointing at a diagonal angle, and when I went through this way, it straightened it up that way. So now, we're going to do it this way. Let's see if I can find it. There we go. So we just pop it in there like this and watch how easy this is where's that chip or that pin it's still it's not perfect but you can't really tell which one it was that's what makes it really cool okay so as you can see it looks a lot different than it did before Normally I go through and do a second check on it, but I'm actually going to skip that. And just go straight for board mounting. Now, what's kind of nice about these is that uh, they've got kind of a conical shape. So if the pin is slightly off, this has a way of kind of putting itself back in. So this will test it out course always that arrow goes right here notice that this has a 90 degree notch these are all diagonal so if you put it in wrong that's where you end up bending a chip so if I did this right we should be able to put this in like that kind of rock it back and forth a little bit and It's 90% there. There's one chip around, one pin around this side that's not acting right, right around there. So we're going to take a quick peek, see what that is. All right. So somewhere up here. Usually, you can tell by the tops of these, if they're super shiny, they're pointing straight up. So I don't see any that are kind of off too far, except for maybe these four, right there and there. These are a little bit off. So let's just make sure everybody's doing the right thing here okay all right that looks pretty good all right let's try it again like I say just kind of rock it back and forth a little bit something isn't right up there Sometimes you got to mess with it just a little bit. There it goes. Now, if you look, that's completely straight and flat sitting in its socket. Then you just do that a couple times. That actually straightens them all out even more. So now you've got a perfectly good working processor. That's it. And you can put it somewhere to be ready to use. 20 bucks. Anyway, if you like that, just feel free to like and subscribe. See ya.